What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Smell What Cooper's Cooking. Look, I know a lot of y'all been killing in the gym, getting it right. And when you get out of that gym, you've been thinking, man, I'm hungry. You're driving down the road. You're passing by that McDonald's. You're passing by that In-N-Out. You get tempted to hit that drive through but you know what's going to kill your gains. And we all know you can't out-train a shitty diet. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to meal prep some super delicious, healthy, grilled teriyaki chicken. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? For this meal prep, we're hooking up some grilled teriyaki chicken thighs. And feel free to substitute chicken thighs for chicken breast. First, I'm just gonna cut off this excess fat from around the chicken thighs. Now I'm gonna grab a fork and poke some holes inside of this chicken. Transfer these chicken thighs into a bowl. Hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. About a quarter cup of teriyaki marinade. Roughly chop some green onions. Toss those in the bowl. Mix that thing up. Make sure the chicken is covered. Pack it down so as much of that marinade can touch it as possible. All right, let's let our chicken thighs sit in this marinade for at least one hour. While we got that chicken marinating, let's go ahead and start hooking up some rice. I've got two cups of jasmine white rice. Gonna go ahead and rinse this until the water runs clear. Dump that inside my rice cooker. If you don't have a rice cooker, go ahead and use the package directions on the box of rice or bag of rice that you're using. Instead of water, we're gonna be adding a couple cups of chicken stock. Don't trip you guys, full recipe is in the description. And while you're checking it out, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. A bit of sesame seed oil, mix all that up. Close the lid and cook this on the white rice setting. All right, one hour has passed. Now it's time to go outside and hit the grill. Back outside, Hank Hill out here on the grill again. I've got my propane grill preheated to medium high heat. Let's go ahead and slap these marinated chicken thighs down. Let these bad boys cook on this side for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, these chicken thighs should have self-released from the grill. Let's go ahead and flip these over and cook them for an additional 10 minutes on the opposite side or until the temperature reaches 165 degrees internally. And after an additional 10 minutes, now our chicken thighs are starting to look good. Let's go ahead and remove these chicken thighs off the grill and onto a tray. Gotta hook up some veggies for this meal prep, so let's go ahead and get some fresh broccoli going. Here, I have one bunch of fresh broccoli. Let's go ahead and cut this from the stalks until we're left with just the florets. Slice those florets in half. Now let's hit the stove. Toss some butter in my preheated pan. That some bitch is smoking hot. Kill the gas, Coop. Let that melt down. Throw my broccoli florets in next. All right, got my stove turned down to a controllable level now. Hit it with that salt and pepper. A little bit of water. Go ahead and cover this and let it steam for about five minutes. And after five minutes, go ahead and remove the lid and saute the broccoli around until it gets slightly charred. Boom, the rice is done. Just like that, we have perfectly fluffy white rice. 
Go ahead and close the lid and set that aside until we're ready to start prepping. Teriyaki! Let's make a quick homemade teriyaki sauce, y'all. In a mixing bowl, go ahead and add some minced garlic, ginger paste, some low sodium soy sauce, honey, sesame oil, rice vinegar, and some pineapple juice. Go ahead and mix that up. Now let's get our chicken thighs on the cutting board and chop that up. Now let's head back to the stove and hit the same pan that we cooked our broccoli in. Add some butter to the pan and when it melts, go ahead and add that homemade teriyaki sauce. When the sauce starts to simmer, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped chicken thighs. Yeah, let's get all that into the mix right here. Stir that around. And continue to cook until the sauce starts to thicken. All right, now that we got all of our components done, it's meal prep time, y'all. I'm going to divide this into four separate servings. First up, I'll add one cup of this cooked white rice. Get one cup of white rice in each one of these containers. Now let's get some of those half steamed, half sauteed, fresh broccoli florets into the middle of each one of these containers. And last but not least, let's get some of this delicious grilled teriyaki chicken inside of each one of these bowls. There you have it, you guys. Four simple meals prepped up so you can take the guessing game out of what you're gonna be eating to stay on track with your workouts. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know how you guys like this one and let me know if there's any other meals that you would like to see get prepped up. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you press that notification bell so you don't miss any of these hot episodes. Bam, there you have it, you guys. Some grilled teriyaki chicken, meal prepped. Got a couple of different meals for you to eat during the week so you don't gotta think about it. You can take all the guessing out of it. Let me know how you guys like this one in the comment section. Don't forget to share a friend or foe, you already know, and we'll catch you right back here next week for another episode of Smell What Koopa's Cooking.